Yeah. Right. Right. Hello and welcome to the first ever Sean and Carl uh, Ultimate Premiership Team. This one's what this title is. And uh, it's for season... 2014 to 13. Did we get that? 2014 to 13. Well, yeah, 2014 to 13. Very good. Right. We are both fanatical football fans. Uh, I am a Sheffield United fan, which is a bit sad, and I know. And as you can see from the scum behind the settee, he supports them. Somebody's got to. Right. Um, the ultimate losers. Right. We shall start then with each individual... <laughs> 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 Each one of us going through the players that we have picked in our opinion, and remember this is just is our opinion. If you'd like an opinion of your own and tell us that we're a complete couple of muppets and don't know what we're talking about, please leave a comment below the video. I'm sure that everybody out there will agree that our teams are more well, mine's good and his is crap, but this is what we need to do. So we've come up with our ultimate premiership stars of last season. Uh, so here we go. In goal, I have to pick one of his team's uh, losers, which is a goalkeeper. De Gea, I would have had Petr Cech, but he's played about two minutes this season, so that's pointless. Uh, the other bloke, whose name I can't pronounce, that took his place, Courtier, uh, is, uh, hasn't been around as long as Petr Cech. And it pains me to do a Manchester United player, but... Uh, Which is I can't think of any. Tim Howard's pretty good. Would he get in the ultimate team? I doubt it. Other goalkeepers, eh? Mignolet or the Spurs keeper? Louise. That's him. Probably good enough, but are they better than De Gea? De Gea, De Gea, whatever. De Gea. And Petr Cech, who is my ultimate all time goalkeeping hero. Anyway, that's my number one. My first choice keeper for last season, which is, who did I say? David De Gea. Right, over to the scummer for his. Well, well, mine is, of course, the beloved David De Gea, because he's, like, better. He's the best keeper in the world. Best, best keeper ever, isn't he? Right. Thank you for that load of crap. Now, the right back is, and my right back is the ultimate, because he came through Chef United's Academy. Uh anything I can get to say about the blades on here every chance I will be doing it because some of us support proper football teams uh -huh. while others support franchises where's he gone there he is <laughs> right so Kyle Walker as my right back last season even though he didn't play a lot but he's still good and better than anybody else right carry on squirt <laughs> <laughs> anyway my um, right back is Branislav Ivanovic. Right. He was at Chelsea and did an all round and good performance. Can we spell it, please? B R A N S L O V I C I V A N O V I C. Well, there you go. That might be right or it might not. I ain't got a clue. <coughs> but uh, there you go. I'll take his word for it. Number three is somebody else. Uh, the left back, which again I can't spell. And as, as, as Blio Cleta. Um, pronounced very well. Uh, what he said. Caesar Aspliaqueta. That's him. He's probably the best one in the Premiership no, no. At, at present, not no. according no. to the franchise supporter oh. at the back. Uh, anyway, he's, he's my choice after the football I watched this season. Uh, he's a lot of ability, uh, and when I played, that's the position I played in as well. So I know what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. Carry on with uh, it. Mine is Pablo Zabaleta, who played for Man City and was large and smart. Right, so we now move to the central defence, and my first one in there is the Chelsea legend, and who should still be in the right. England setup now because he's the best defender we've got by far. I was going to go for Phil Jagielka again with the Sheffield United connection, but. Uh, Luis Suarez sort of put him out of England's equation in the last World Cup forever. So, even though he is an ex player, unfortunately, I've got to go for John Terry. Right, Squirt? Mine is, yeah, same as my father's, which is John Terry, because he's all round and. All round? All round. He's fat. 
He's fat. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, I've gone off. Right. <laughs> Wait. His central back, pa- centre, central back, centre back pairing is uh, Liverpool's all-round scary defender, uh, Martin Skirtle, who gives one hundred percent all the time, and uh, without Skirtle in Liverpool's defence, they would have been even worse than they were this season. Right, carry on, scummer. Mine's at uh, one vlog. <laughs> And Ron, I mean, who? No, come on. Ron Vlar. Ron Vlar. Uh, Thanks for Aston Villa. He's better than the fucking mind skirtle. He'd get any side. Well, there you go. So that's the defence complete of our selection. Uh, Mine's we, better, of course. We then move into midfield and England's star player in the last uh, qualifier. For the European Championship, which was Jack Wiltshire, who has got to be in any ultimate team, even though he's probably only played ten times this season because of injury. But we can't have everything. Well, mine is uh, CDM for Chelsea. And <laughs> CD. CDM Chelsea star. If it wasn't for them, they'd be. Wouldn't have won it. Nemanja Matic. Right, good choice. Cheers. One of my favourite players, but being so old and having no brain, I forgot about him. <laughs> right, next one. I uh, have to agree with that. Manchester City. <laughs> uh, midfielder, an all-round gangly quick runner and take on anybody and score spectacular goals. Uh, and what should we do with the song? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, that's him. Torre. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, mine is just in front of Matic is CC Fabregas. Again. He, oh, sorry. Uh, there you go. Ah, again, I, a very good choice. And again, I forgot all about them. But there you go. <laughs> so, moving on as uh, Tory's central midfielder, midfield partner, even, uh, would be. Uh, Rosicki for Arsenal for me who I love that bloke and doesn't get enough time on the pitch for me so for somebody that again is from Arsenal and is a brilliant playmaker an all round good Spanish egg which is Santi Cazola who to me is the ultimate uh, yeah midfield right carry on squirt I thought you said Rosicki I did, but I, I explained why oh, I like Rosicki, um, but he didn't really have enough time on the pitch, did he? Um, well, my... Left, left. Right, right midfield, there is Alexis Sanchez, who was had a brilliant first season for Arsenal and scored a lot of goals and assisted. If it wasn't for them, he wouldn't be in the top... They wouldn't be in the top <laughs> I'd spit it out. <laughs> right. As we move on now, and a surprise choice for me for a lot of people, but again, this football's a game of opinion, and my opinion counts and is done. So it's uh, the Tottenham midfielder, Ericsson, who, having played Sheffield United twice this season, was probably the difference between the two sides with his goal at Bramall Lane and also his free kick, uh, which uh, I would should have said, really, but we can't have everything. Uh, so that's a ch- uh, pfft. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the choices in midfield, uh, which is Ericsson. My left mid is Hazard from right. Chelsea. He would have been in my team, but he'd be in everybody's team. So I'm trying to be just a little bit uh, different. And just behind my striker would be Manchester City's little wizard who sets up everything, uh, whether you could play... Gazzola and Silver in the same side because they're very similar. I don't know, but I don't care really, so I'll go for David Silver. My left striker would be Harry Kane for Tottenham, who had a brilliant season. Ah, right, but let's see. In Europe, appeared under 21 championships. Uh, three games, no goals, so let's see next yeah, season. Yeah, but he, he didn't have any decent players with him and he didn't, <laughs> have, uh, he didn't have the um, opportunities and he shot from like 26 yards but then everything that he hit when he was playing for Tottenham in the back of the net 
against Pat from Sheffield United. All Sheffield United's defenders kept him quiet. And Man United, you have to remember. Over there. Right, anyway, that's. Uh, and, and the ultimate striker is the bloke that scares every defender to death because he wants to stamp on him, kick him, bite him, spit at him, whatever he does, whether in the Spanish league or in the Premiership with Chelsea, is Diego Costa, who has got to be up there. He is one of the ultimate strikers and probably the worst striker to play <laughs> as it, play against as a defender. Mine, yeah, also is Diego Costa. So, yeah. So that completes the teams from the goon and the, the cretin behind the settee. Uh, or just a quick word for the manager. The manager of my team this season uh, would be Leicester City's escape artist absolute brilliantly done from bottom to avoid relegation which is Nigel Pearson even though he's an ex snorter we can't have everything and he hasn't got a manager because he's clueless mine, <laughs> <laughs> mine would be Santi Cazola Santi Cazola <laughs> player manager for Arsenal Alan Pardew Alan Pardew Crystal Palace good 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 pick yeah, uh, total rubbish, like the good pick. <laughs> what? So that was that is it for the ultimate team from these two cretins who know not a lot about football. Well, this one does and that one doesn't, because uh, some of us support a real football team, as we've said. And we shall see you in the next uh, edition of uh, Carl's and Sean's Ultimate Bloody Talk Rubbish about football. Uh, which will be about what, whatever we decide to do next. Leave a like on the... Let's get your hand in, mate. <laughs> Leave a like on the video, and if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. And if you found it boring, well, don't come back. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> See you later. See ya. <laughs> Bye.